what is going on everyone welcome back to another video another day another dollar with your boy we're going to quickly dive into this uh video we're going to try to run through it as quick as possible so sorry if it's not uh to too much detail we'll go over some destinations some things that we did today uh and then look at the daily time frame and update our balance because we are now back to balance we have officially stopped one time framing down on our daily time frame uh value has gone from consistently lower over the last several days you see value area highlighted here in purple consistently went lower over the last several days and then finally we get an overlapping to lower day uh with that wacky recovery from uh, yesterday's session then today we open up inside of the previous day's range chop around a little bit set our initial balance and then we do exactly what we thought we were going to do in the long run which was put the daily back into some sort of balance today we end with overlapping to higher value we are with the day's low the day's high and an afternoon pullback low we hit all of our upside destinations that we discussed in yesterday's video uh referencing them all in yesterday's video we hit each and every single one for both us and the nasdaq today we're only going to go over the es uh futures contract but after opening up inside of the previous day's range, chopping around a little bit, I was not going to be surprised to see us continue to chop around here, maybe have a rotational day. But we ended up taking out our initial balance high with a reversal bar here in C period. We took out the low in B period, got back to the opening, then pushed it all the way back up. And after that, that was kind of what set the fireworks off as we targeted the previous day's high. Once we took out the previous day's high, that's when you knew the short was over and short covering was going to occur and that's pretty much what happened throughout the entirety of the day we hit that afternoon rally high here at 43 35 50 and then continued to grind up creating back-to-back -back single prints and even a third set of single prints uh with a double distribution day or what looked to be a double distribution day to the upside we hit that high day target of 53 uh, 43 54 and then we backed off pretty good as liquidate as you know all the buyers up here weren't getting paid uh bids kind of pulled from the market we rotated down lower and look at where we held one thing i wanted to note uh i did i did take a few longs early in the day i was long against the single prints here on pullbacks around the 40 level uh to go and get that high here at 54 so i was taking longs anywhere from 46 to 48 and 49 to go and get 54 and each time it pushed up i got out of my trade as you know i'm just trying to build back confidence after the last couple of losses that i've experienced now look at how we pushed up and touched that high a day stretched it by about a point and a half okay stretched it by about a point and a half and then rotated back in now one thing i want to know i'm gonna get rid of this afternoon rally high is the area that we held and where our afternoon pullback low was look at where value high was from yesterday right there right that's where value area high was that's where the previous day high was that's where we attempted to spike up from and that's where change took place today early on we pulled right back into that area and look at what happened we held it and we bounced pretty good that's where i got long that's where i got involved in the market again took a nice trade off the lows Went back and got out of my trade at 45. Uh, ended up today with only, you know, 129 on one account, 113 on the actual Apex account. Um, overall, really, really good trading day today uh, for me. I uh, built some confidence back, but I just like to point out how we held that previous value high area. I had it marked here on my 15 minute chart as that's what I was watching here um pulled back held it really nicely and then you can see the consolidation here on the one minute chart how we held that area that previous value high area uh the area where t uh, change took place today pulled right back into it got a nice nice rally off of it and obviously i was selling uh into the 144 and then once we got up to the these highs here 45 43 I was getting out of the trade because I did feel like we would rotate up to that value high for today. Uh, but I just, you know, wanted to take profits, get it off the table. And, you know, I was happy with the trade. Obviously, we pushed up a few more points.
could have squeezed it out, but we'll take what we can get. Cannot be greedy, especially after what I've been experiencing. So with that being said, let's go over destinations. We are now back into a three or a four day balance. However you want to call it three or a four day balance. I think I'm going to call it a three day balance because we only took out the high from the 26th by about a point and a half. So we're going to say this is a three day balance. Tomorrow we take out today's high. We will be one time framing up in my opinion, and we should go get that 43.67 10 wide point of control above that 43.80.25 high a day from the 25th. Above that 43.99 high of day from the 22nd. Afternoon rally high 44.07.75, 44.18.50 where the gap starts. Downside 43.27.50. I think it's going to be a line in the sand. If we open above that and we can't get below it, we should push up and take out the day's high, especially going into the last trading day of the month and the week. Um, if we open up below that 43.27.50 afternoon pullback low area, you potentially will rotate back down to 43.01 uh, and test that 43.00 level in the low of day. As we are in a balance now, so I would not be surprised if we seen some chop within that balance prior to uh, moving up higher or lower. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at our larger time frames here. Go ahead and look at, we'll look at the SPY. We'll look at SPY. Let's look at the monthly time frame real quick. We'll just give you guys a quick update. Monthly, still one time framing down. Okay, we took out that monthly balance low. We're in a two month balance. Took out that monthly balance low by a good margin. 43, uh, 43, uh, excuse me, 433.01 was that balance low. We took it out by a pretty good amount. We'll look to see if we back test that at all in the future weekly. So monthly, still one time framing down, coming into the end of the month. Okay, my chart's not willing to work. Hello. All right, whatever. Um, weekly, one time framing down, two weeks in a row now. All right, after breaking out that monthly and weekly balance low. So you can see we hit that first downside target. Second downside target is 416.26, which is right around where the 200 day moving average is located. But after coming out of that double inside week to the downside, we've got some pretty good extension here. And like I said, would not be surprised to begin seeing that short covering come into place, putting us in that balance that we've seen today and potentially driving us up to fill the upside gap that we have in our possession here. But look at where that 200 day moving average is at where it's at 418. OK, we got uh, after yesterday's low, we were within, you know, six bucks of that low here. Um, so or of that 200 day moving average, like I said, was a good opportunity for people to start covering their positions. So let's go ahead and update that daily balance. We do have that upside gap here that we're looking to fill at some point in time. But for now, we need to update our daily balance. This is what our daily balance is going to look like. Today's high at, uh, what's today's high? 3025. We'll update it on the futures contract as well as these should now be in sync by this point. Uh, this will be our daily balance high. And our daily balance low is. 2229. This will be our daily balance low. So there you have it, folks. We're in a three day balance. If we take out today's high, we'll be one time framing up and you'll look to attack these previous days high and then potentially get into that gap. Now, I think we may have some consolidation here prior to doing that, uh, potentially see some unchanged value, a wide point of control potentially and then bursting up to get that gap where at this point the 200 or the excuse me the 20 day moving average should be right where right around where that gap fill is located uh so there you guys have it uh let's look at our daily balance on the es let's go ahead and update that because we have not done that in quite some time uh so there 
ES's 200 day moving average was right around that 42.2773 level. Uh, like I said, we got very close. Same thing as SPY, very close to it, seeing some short covering, and here we are today. So, balance high for our daily in the futures is 55.75. Okay, 55.75 is our daily balance. Daily balance high, daily balance, oops, daily balance low is going to be that low of 4277. 4277 is going to be our daily balance low. So there we are. We're in a we are now in a nice little balance here for our daily. Okay. Daily 43, 55, 75 balance high, 42, 77 balance low. Look to see if we have some chop within this area prior to going and getting this upside gap, uh, which by the way, you know, that two, that 20 day moving average should be creeping right around. That's at 45 or 44, 55 right now. Our 200 day is at 42, 27, 73. We have a gap that fills down here around the 42, 40 level. So let's see which gap gets filled first. What indice or what uh, moving average do we hit first? Do we hit the 20 or do we hit the 200? That is going to be our question. And from the way that the this market has acted so far going into the month end, would not be surprised if we get a little bit more of a short covering rally to the upside prior to rolling over and potentially testing, two, testing that 200 day moving average. We can get near it, but we don't have to touch it. You know what I mean? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you found this video informational uh, and helpful in any way, hope you all had a wonderful day. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.